Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotional, Morning Talk with God. Start your day right, start your day God's way. Today's scripture is from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 31. So that, just as it is written, let him who boast, boast in the Lord. Yes, my friend, like many churches today, these Christians in Corinth church were not living the life of holiness and humility to which we have all been called, but they have allowed the standards, morals and attitudes of the world to infiltrate their position in Christ. Divisions, strife, contentions and splits within the body had shattered the unity in the Lord Jesus. There is so much of spiritual pride in our churches these days. Now Christians want to boast about themselves and always want to receive glory for themselves. They pray in the name of Jesus but boast in themselves. They heal in the name of Jesus but boast in themselves. These believers had set their ability on the wisdom and power of the cross by boasting, rejoicing and glorifying in themselves. However, St. Paul takes pains to remind us, all of us, an unchanging truth. He says, Let him who boasts, boast in the Lord. Let him who glories, glory only in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Like so much of the church today, my friend, these Christians in Corinth were trying to grow in grace and mature in the faith through worldly ways not having understood that the foolishness of the simple gospel of Jesus Christ, Christ who died for our sins and rose again the third day to pay the price of sin and break its power in our lives, is the only power and wisdom which is acceptable to God the Father. So as Christians, we are all one in Christ and we must never forget that our sufficiency is in Him alone. And how foolish it is to revel in the ungodly wisdom of the world when Christ finished work at Calvary is all we need to live godly in Him, my friend. So let us never forget that the gospel of Jesus Christ is for us wisdom, power, righteousness, sanctification and redemption. And so, you and me are called to reject the standards, morals, attitudes and ways of the world and boast only in the Lord. So whatever you do, my friend, boast in the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have done everything on that cross. You paid a heavy price on that cross. And through your death on that cross, you have given us salvation, redemption, and eternal life. And only you, O Lord, are worthy of every honor and praise. Help us, Lord, to come in humility in your presence and that we could praise you all the days of our life. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's message. If you're blessed by this word, do share with family and friends. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell icon button to receive notification. time for Bible quiz. Today's Bible question. How many pairs of every kind of clean animal did Noah take into the ark? To answer, click on community page of the YouTube channel and leave your answer in the comment section. God bless you. Have a blessed day.